Okay, so welcome to this fitness Pilates foot and ankle workout with the tennis ball. Just using one tennis ball today. So the whole aim of this section is to use the tennis ball to massage the underneath of the foot. Now, if the foot and the ankle are particularly stiff, if you've got bursitis or you've got a bunion, or often our feet or all the time are encased in shoes and trainers, when you go barefoot, it really helps unlock the pathways throughout the whole body. Just five, 10 minutes before you do your Pilates practice makes such a profound difference, it really will. And you'll have very different experiences on each foot. You'll feel quite prickly on one side and less prickly on the other, and you'll feel it in different areas of the foot. Highly recommend this if you have any injuries, knees, hips, shoulders, anything going on up the kinetic chain. The first thing to do is roll out the foot and the ankle, get the foot and the ankle really mobile and then go into whatever the workout is that you're going to do that day makes such a big difference with a tennis ball you can do this for five minutes sitting while you're watching telly while you're waiting for the kettle to boil and it will make a real difference around the whole kinetic chain so here we go just going to start oh, straight away as soon as I, I touch it I can I can feel it on my foot so I want you to just roll the ball forward and back along the instep Oh, and then through to the outside of the foot, just between the heel and the bottom of your big toe. Oh. And then as you get used to it, you will just apply a bit more pressure and then roll a little bit quicker and change the tension and the speed. So sometimes you roll so much faster like that, quite a lot of friction. And then other times it's a bit deeper and slower and just move through. Now I'm just rolling forward and back initially. Feel that on the inner, inside step. Now roll there side to side. So I've got a quite a lot of weight on this side, but just move it through. Now circle around. So I'm gonna do this for a you know, few a minute really on each side and it will make a big difference, it really will. And again, just introducing you to so many different techniques that again, are always going to work on your weaker areas. So we're providing symmetry and balance through the body. Now circle around the other direction. A little bit more pressure as you feel that the foot and the ankle's warming up a little bit. Good. And then back to forward and back. I really like it on the instep. So if you've been wearing trainers all day, it's nice to really wake, awaken the whole foot, okay? And you've got a, a sense that the instep feels quite lifted. But again, do practice this. Okay, let's go to the other side. So again, I'm rolling the ball just there to the outside. Oh, and the inside. Completely different experience on this side. Okay, let's keep going. So again, a little bit more pressure as you move to the inside, and then let's go side to side. Okay, that feels, again, very different, much freer actually than my left foot. Into circular motions all the way around. And then let's go the other direction. So again, just kind of, how's it feeling? Are you feeling it? Yay! And then again, apply a bit more pressure as you go forward and back, that's it. Okay, step off, come up onto your tiptoes, and again, just rocking forward, and then do some, just some gentle cat pedal movements, so you're just pushing through. Now, I'm going to put the heel on, the right heel on, left foot on the floor, try and squash the ball, and again, engage, shoulders back, and let's just squat. So if you had two tennis balls, you could put one under each heel and that would change the position of your pelvis. And again, this is just a nice way to, again, activate those glutes. There we go, breathing. I'm exhaling, <sighs> inhaling down, squeeze, a little bit lower, push into the ball. There you go, one more. That's good. And then let's change to the other side. So hip width apart, heel on the ball. Again, push down, connect, and then squat down. There we go. So I'm keeping the head up. You're looking forwards. Exhale. Inhale as you come back. Now we're sitting really low. There we go. One more time. Sit back. Quite deep. Good. And 
change. Now let's change heels again, but let's go a lot wider this time. So a much wider stance. Right heel on a little bit wider. So again, femur here, the angle is changing. Connect, shoulders back. Now squat. A little bit deeper, so we're opening that pelvis. Good push. You've got the legs pretty wide on this. There we go, one more. And then change to the other side. So again, wide. So again, the angle of the femur changes. Inhale. Here we go, just squat. So nice and deep. That's good. So again, I'm again thinking about what's that mind-body connection. Getting the glutes to fire. There we go. Two more. Last one. And then come through to the center. Good, have a bit of a shake off, good. And again, if you roll up onto your tiptoes and roll back, how does your foot feel? Does it feel quite free? I really hope so. Okay, let's focus on, I'm gonna move the ball to the side. Just some simple flowing movements now, Pilates style. So inhale, connect. Okay, let's start with a single knee lift to the front and then a hip extension. Good, knee lift and lift. So we'll do four. So we lift, balance there, push back. And again, lift, push back. And then we squat four times, went down. Two more. Now again, focus and center. Left knee. So knee. Hip extension. And again, so it. Two, three, four. And again. So I'm just leaning into this. And push back. Last one. Knee. Push back. Now we're going to squat. Push down. Just two squats. Now rolling down. So drop the head and neck, shoulders. I'm going to do all the way down to the floor. Breathe in, roll back up. Take your arms with you. Lateral flexion. Both arms. There we go, left. And again, just really gentle. Relax your shoulders. So almost moving meditation with this. One more. And we're going to take the right leg back with a curtsy and squat center and then left. So we push back. So the focus here is the glutes. I'm gonna add your arms or add my arms. Let's add our arms. So we cross. Two more. Now notice every time I squat, just changing the position of the feet. Last one. Squat. And then rolling down. Drop the head, neck and shoulders. Easing through. Breathing at the bottom. Roll back. Circle. Breath in. Breath out. Now we go from the top. So we lift. Knee. Center. Hip extension. So. Two squats. Right leg behind curtsy. One. Squat. And then left. Left knee comes up, so it's knee, hip extension, two more, up, push back, two squats, push down, one more, curtsy back, so we curtsy and squat, curtsy left, and squat down. 
good, back into that roll down. So again, head, neck and shoulders, really easy. Breathe in, breathe in, roll down. Roll back up. And then roll back with a hold of your arms, closing your eyes. Bringing your palms together, inhale. Rotation right. left, center, arms down, just roll, wow, it's getting warm in here, really slowly, five, six, seven, eight, roll back up, circle around, bring your hands together, heart center, rotation, one, and center, good left, Good breath in, and breath out. Now with your ball, let's just do a little bit of footwork and then you will be on your way. So again, just roll all the way to the instep and all the way back. Oops, mine's rolling away. <laughs> a little bit more pressure, I need it. I always get that prickly bit in the middle. Lovely the other side. Roll. That's there. Well done. A little bit more pressure and center. Good. Inhale up. Exhale down. Roll the shoulders back. Okay, and let me know what you think with the tennis ball and keep practicing, keep rolling with that tennis ball. And I'll see you on the next